Jesus is risen indeed. Hallelujah. Good evening. I come, come to you this evening with the word of God. We're going to be looking at the ascension of Jesus Christ. Let us pray. Let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in thy sight, O Lord, my strength and my redeemer. Jesus was crucified on Good Friday, resurrected on Easter Sunday, and 40 days later ascended into heaven. What does his ascension mean for the church? Why does his ascension matter? I would like to share four reasons why the ascension of Jesus Christ into heaven matters for the church from the epistles, acts, and the gospels. First, the ascension of Jesus Christ matters because it establishes his authority over the universe and his church. In Ephesians chapter 1, verses 20 and 21, Paul says, God raised Christ from the dead and seated him at his right hand in the heavenly realms, far above all rule and authority, power and dominion, and every name that is named, not only in this present age, but also in the one to come. He continues, and place all things on his feet and appointed him as head over everything for the church. You see, when Christ ascended into heaven, he was exalted to the place of absolute supreme authority. Now seated at the right hand of the Father, Peter says, angels, authorities, and powers are subjected to him. The authority of Jesus is above all other authorities, powers in the universe. Jesus was not only exalted to a place of supreme authority over the universe, but he was also exalted to a place of supreme authority over his own church. God appointed him as head over everything for the church. The authority of Jesus over the universe and his church is not just for a period, but for all of eternity. Amidst the confusion of our day, we can be at peace because Jesus has authority over the universe and his church. There's no need to be shaken about the negative news we hear daily because Jesus is in charge. Whenever you become afraid because of the chaos in the world, remember Jesus is in control of the affairs of the world. Jesus is the one who has the authority over the universe. He is for you. He is for me. He is for us. And he is with us. And as head of the church, Jesus gives us strength to live victoriously day of the day. He protects us from danger and from harm. He meets our needs and cares for us as members of of his body. The ascension matters because it establishes the authority of Jesus over the universe and his church. Second, the ascension of Jesus matters because it inspires us to worship him with joy. In Luke chapter 24 verses 20 to 52, the scripture tells us that as Jesus lifted up his hands and began to bless his disciples, he was taken up to heaven. Then his disciples worshiped him and returned to Jerusalem with great joy. The disciples of Jesus were inspired to worship him with joy because they knew that he was alive from the dead. They knew that he was returning to his father. And they also knew that he had accomplished his mission on earth. Today we can also be inspired to worship Jesus with joy for the similar reasons. But the Apostle Paul 
all lines, our spiritual blessings in Ephesians chapter 1, verse 3, for which we are to worship Jesus with great joy. Paul says, we have been chosen in Christ. We have been redeemed in Christ. We have been forgiven in Christ. Also, we have received grace and mercy and are called children of God. I am truly inspired to worship Jesus with joy because of these spiritual blessings bestowed upon me in Christ. I hope you are also inspired to worship him as well because of the spiritual blessings he has bestowed upon you in Christ Jesus. The ascension of Jesus matters thoroughly because it ushers in the Holy Spirit who empowers us for mission. The scripture tells us that after his resurrection, Jesus told his disciples not to leave Jerusalem, but to wait for the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit will come and empower them to become his witnesses in Jerusalem, in Judea, in Samaria, and the ends of the earth. Exactly after his ascension on the day of Pentecost, the Bible tells us that the Holy Spirit descended on the disciples and empowered them for worldwide mission. John, Kia, Willett, and I are home missionaries with Christ Lutheran Church. We have been empowered by the Holy Spirit to preach the gospel and evangelize the lost. But the last time I checked, I saw that all of the members of the body of Christ, including you, including members of Christ Lutheran Church, have been empowered by the Holy Spirit to share the gospel of repentance and forgiveness. The Holy Spirit has empowered each one of us to be a witness to our family members, to be a witness to our neighbors, to be a witness to our workmates, to be a witness to our friends here at home and overseas. What a perfect time to be a witness of Jesus, to share his message of forgiveness, mercy, justice, and love. The ascension of Jesus matters, fourthly because it reminds us of his return to earth someday. At the ascension of Jesus, the two angels declared, this same Jesus, who has been taken from you into heaven, will come back in the same way you have seen him go into heaven. So though presently seated at the right hand of the Father, Jesus will return to the earth someday. He will return to establish his kingdom in his fullness. This is the very thing that we ask for when we pray, your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. We may now be experiencing trials, troubles, sufferings, and pains. But when the Lord Jesus returns, trials and troubles will be over. Sufferings and pain will be no more. We will forever enjoy the peace, the blessings, and the presence of the Lord Jesus. We have celebrated Good Friday. We have celebrated Easter Sunday. Let's celebrate the ascension of our Lord Jesus Christ because it matters. Jesus indeed has ascended and seated at the right hand of the Father in heaven. Hallelujah. Amen. Let us pray. Lord, help us to celebrate your ascension into heaven just as we celebrate Good Friday and Easter Sunday. May you give us that understanding that the ascension of the Lord Jesus is important and it matters to the church. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.